there this is Baya I'm Sharon and this is a little preview video for what it gonna expect us for next uh, two months of uh, whelping and raising this litter this is just a little preview we're getting ready here Baya went to the doctor today to the veterinarian and we checked how many puppies she have we did the x-ray and she have five puppies uh, she have pretty small belly and uh, running around and flying around like crazy and I was worried that she might have only one or two puppies and will need a c-section this is her first litter she's a two-year-old she's going to be first time mama so this was very important to know how many puppies she have and what we have to expect now there are several reasons why we decide to attempt to run a little bit series of videos of how we raise a puppy and one of them over the years constantly we're getting a phone calls messages with new breeders people who wants to breed litters uh, calling us with issues something happened in the litter and they're asking for advice for help uh, people around here in maryland and every single time i find out that those are uh, some pretty severe issues happen which could have been avoidable easily uh, if breeders were prepared right for what to expect for the litter. It's not that simple, just threw two dogs together and uh, threw some welting box together and build it yourself and have a puppies of litter. A lot of things can go wrong. Many, many things can go wrong. Things escalate quick, can be fatal. Recently we had somebody call with fatal outcome and could be could have been easy, easy preventable. So we wanna take it through everything we learn here is not invented by us we learn it somewhere from the breeders friends breeders uh, reading online there is a lot a lot of information you do gotta invest in this search research and communicate with better than yours so we're gonna show you how we do things so there is no way i can teach or even attempt to teach everything possible that can happen could happen and how we prepare a hundred percent it's a learning experience every single time even years and years after every single leader gets me nervous and excited all at the same time uh, but uh, we're gonna touch base on some at least basics okay main thing first thing you need a welting box this is our old welting box uh, been serving us for years it's a uh, homemade made from garden raising bed and my awesome husband made me nice wide rails that i wanted them to be wide in box to be bigger than majority of the standard boxes that sold on the market however he doesn't know yet but i just ordered the welting box of my dreams and i'm hoping he's not gonna ask me how much it costs but it's an investment for the rest of the life i always wanted this welting box okay so it's coming uh, bottom line you need a welting box you have to have rails so the female doesn't smoosh the puppies uh, it happens it's happened a lot puppies will get underneath here and can get away from her heavy weight we use i like to use a, a what they call baby like one. baby pads i like to use not the pet ones i like to use actual hospital ones they're more sturdy they absorb better and they're larger and i only use them at the time of the welding just to keep it clean here i'll sneak one under her she'll give a birth on it all the mess all the blood all the caca and everything gonna come on this fold it through it to the garbage she have a clean puppy I like to use the Arlo camera. It's magnetic, it's wireless. I can spy on her at night. So I usually, at night, I sleep in my bed before I come uh, here and sleep on the Krembo old bed. And uh, I can hear it right here by my phone. If something going on, any commotions, I look in the camera, I see what she's doing uh, when she's getting ready. I have thermometer, a little magnetic thermometer to know what exactly the temperature is here gloves hand sanitizer disinfection wipes hospital grade calcium thumbs we use for calcium to help the female in between the puppies when she needs the extra calcium iodine for ambient cord snut sucker 
This is to help the puppies to clean up the airways if they need to. Floss, tooth floss. If I need to um, tie up the ember cord, if I see that the female not doing a good job enough, she's a first time mom, so I'm gonna give her a chance, but if she needs help, I wanna be ready. Thermometer for sure. This is some more money I spent. This is a new revival pads for the welding box and they're extra large and I'm very excited to use them. They're non sleep they're super absorbent. Never use them, I got me two. We'll see how they work and I will let you know in a week if it's worth the buy or not. So I'll put them here for now. It's, uh, it's a spring outside, but we're running the fireplace to keep the temperature in this room hotter to where it needs to be. Two products I like to recommend as we use. People ask me all the time, why, how we don't have any smells in our kennels? It doesn't smell like a dog, it's like, it smells great. This is the disinfectant that we use. I buy it on PetH.com. Amazon carries this as well. Lavender, we tried all the smells. Lavender is the best one. It's very light, very nice. It's the original 256 multi-purpose solution. Veterinary solution, kills all kinds of bacteria, viruses, parvos, marvos, all kinds of things. And this is my best friend, a smart UV light. I'll run it once in a while to kill other bacteria. You don't want to kill too many bacteria. You want the dogs to be exposed and and uh, develop natural immunization for this. But there are certain things, you know, that can travel, unfortunately, in that this is a big help uh, to kill viruses. So we use this for the floors and walls and disinfect whatever with it, but I also have it in a spray. This is a very simple way also to spray something to disinfect everything around. Baby wipes, your best friend. Fragrance free, so it's chemical free. Bye bye the box, Walmart is the best friend. We'll need a lot of those, we're gonna go through a lot of those. Okay, now all this room is clean and disinfected and ready for the welting time. The box is welting. Once the mess gonna start cleaning uh, and disinfecting is very important. This is what I usually use for the box and the plastic side. Very easy, very simple. Keep your life simple and easy. And once we're gonna start having a puppies, uh, I will let you know. And we'll take it here. Get ready for a lot of mess. 